If you are ready for some playoff football, like today's video, smash that thumbs up button. We know the entire AFC playoff picture now. Who's playing who, where they are playing. We're going to go through all of it on today's show. But like the video to kick, us, to kick things off. Welcome in to NFL Daily by Chat Sports. I am your host, Matthew Peterson, and we are going to run through the entire AFC playoff picture. Now, we don't know the NFC just yet. The NFC is sort of dominating the current games on right now, the 430 games, and of course, Sunday Night Football. But here is the final AFC playoff picture. The Chiefs, once again, are at the top of the American Football Conference. They have earned a bye, but they may not play at home in the AFC Championship game. We'll get to that later on. The Bills come back from behind, right? I think close game with the Patriots, whatever. They're the two seed. Bengals took care of business against the Ravens. They are the three seed. The Jags on a Saturday night classic from Northeast Florida knocked off the Titans. The Chargers are currently playing right now against the Broncos, but win or lose, they will be the five seed. If they were to lose, yes, they have the same record as the Ravens, but they have the tiebreaker. Baltimore comes in at six, and they sure hope to get Lamar Jackson back for this playoff game. And the Dolphins got the help that they needed. And an all-time classic, a barn burner, 9-6 win over the Jets. That parlayed with the Patriots' loss, moved them back into the playoff picture. So who will win the AFC? Help me out. Help me make my picks here. Who do you think is going to be representing the AFC in the Super Bowl this year down in Glendale, Arizona? Let me know in the comment section below. I ask for your help because the AFC, in my opinion, is wide open, right? The, of course, the easy favorite could be the Chiefs or the Bills, but both those teams have shown that they are not perfect. They have had fraudulent moments, so that's why I go, this is not a one-horse race, right? The Bengals are playing some of their best football when it matters most at the end of the season. The Jags, Trevor Lawrence, I don't think they're going to win the AFC, but I wouldn't be shocked if they make some noise here. Now, there were some important Week 18 games in the AFC, and here are those results. The Chiefs on Saturday took care of business and really embarrassed the Raiders at their home place. The Jags knocked off the Titans in a great game. The Dolphins over the Jets. The Steelers, for a little bit there, were looking like they were going to backdoor slide in. They had the Patriots losing. They were beating the Browns, and they needed the Dolphins to lose. And the Dolphins kicked a field goal with under 20 seconds, which just sent everyone walking home from Acrisure Field in Pittsburgh. Bengals took care of the Ravens, and the Bills and the Patriots. Good game, but Buffalo outlasted Belichick. So let's start at the top here with the Kansas City Chiefs, who will not be playing this upcoming weekend. They are off. They have the bye. They earned the bye being the number one seed in the AFC. And we, once again, will not get the opportunity to watch Patrick Mahomes play a road playoff game. Now, if the Bills and the Chiefs meet in the AFC Championship game, that game will be at a neutral site. And I am open to suggestions of where that should take place. Liberty Bowl in Memphis? That would be pretty awful. Like, so bad it could be funny. But... The Chiefs at the top once again. Are the Chiefs the team to beat in the AFC? Or is it maybe the Bills, right? Of course, we all know that the records are not going to line up perfectly after the cancellation of Cincinnati and Buffalo's Monday Night Football game. So do you think it could be the Bills or maybe even the Bengals? After all, the Bengals are the reigning AFC champs here. All right, coming up next on the show, we're going to run through the AFC wild card matchups because we're going to have a lot of great football. It's wild card weekend next weekend, one of the best sports weekends of the entire year. But before we get to that, I got to share some awesome information with you all about today's sponsor, which is Rocket Money. Are you wasting money on subscriptions? 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about. Maybe for you, it's an unused Amazon Prime account, right? Or a Hulu account that never gets any use anymore. There's this great app that I use that helps me track all of my expenses. And because of it, I no longer waste money on subscriptions I don't even use. You might have heard of it. It's called Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. 
The app shows all of your subscriptions in one place and then cancels for you whatever you don't want anymore. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you don't even know you're paying for. You may even find out that you've been double charged for a subscription. To cancel a subscription, all you have to do is press cancel and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. So start getting rid of these useless subscriptions that you no longer use anymore or don't even know that you're signed up for. Go to rocketmoney.com slash NFL daily. When you use that link, you're going to get started with some awesome deals. It could save you hundreds per year. I've got that link, rocketmoney.com slash NFL daily, down in the comments and the description of today's show. Let's jump into the first AFC wild card matchup, and that is the Dolphins and the Bills. So Miami will travel up to Buffalo for a 2v7 matchup. Now, of course, the big question is, who will be quarterback for the Dolphins, right? Will it be Tua? If not, it's going to be Skylar Thompson again. And that offense produced three field goals against a good Jets defense. But even with Tua, I mean, I think most people thought that the Dolphins would sort of lay down when they went up to Buffalo a month ago. And that was a great game on Sunday Night Football, if I remember. Yeah, against the Dolphins and the Bills. So if Tua plays, whole different conversation. Even with Tua... I think the Bills still take care of business. They're just the better football team. And Miami, the last two months at this point, has shown that they may have peaked way too early here. But who you got, Bills or Dolphins? I want to know for each of these games who you are taking. I'm going to go chalk. Give me the Bills. You got to have some upsets, though. The NFL is always good for one or two surprising games. Uh, talk to the Bengals last year about that. So who you got, let me know in the comment section. Next matchup here is the Ravens at the Bengals. Joe Mixon himself flipped a coin in the end zone and was like, yep, we're playing at home. So this one will be in Cincinnati, and it's a repeat of the game we all just watched an hour and a half ago. The difference could be who's that quarterback for Baltimore. Will it be Lamar Jackson, or will it be Anthony Brown, Tyler Huntley, maybe even a combination of the two of them? Listen, Lamar Jackson is very capable of going into Cincinnati and winning a playoff game. He's gotten that monkey off his back. My question is, how healthy is he? Because we have not seen him play in over a month at this point here. And I've got a, a bit of a, a sense of frustration from Harbaugh about the recovery for Lamar Jackson and whether or not he's going to be able to go in the postseason. Or maybe he's looking at his options saying, I'm a free agent. You guys didn't pay me. I don't want to risk it all for just one AFC wild card matchup. Give me the Bengals in this one. But once again, I'll answer. Your, I'll, I'll ask you guys the question. Who you got? Bengals or Ravens? Give me Cincinnati. I know that I'm just going chalk across the board right now, but I really struggle to see a way where the Ravens win next week when it looked like Cincinnati really took care of business against the exact same Ravens team minus the quarterback, which is obviously going to be a huge changer, game changer, but still... I'm rolling with the Bengals. Now, we're going to have more playoff updates and pictures for you guys later on. The NFC playoff picture specifically. Once the NFC games wrap up today. So if you're looking for an NFC playoff picture video in about probably seven hours or so, whenever Sunday Night Football wraps up, subscribe to Chat Sports today. And then probably the game I'm kind of looking forward to the most out of the AFC. It's Justin Herbert and Trevor Lawrence. Right, we've spent so much time talking about Mahomes, Allen, Lamar, Herbert, Watson, kind of carrying the AFC the last couple of years. What about Trevor Lawrence, right? He's a first overall pick. Can he win a home playoff game for the Jags? Now, both these teams can be kind of bipolar, right? The Chargers at times look like they are sometimes the team to beat in the AFC when they're healthy. I'm watching them play right now. They're tied 7-7 to with the Broncos, so that's not really a good indication, but they have nothing to play for. Win or lose, by the way, in this Broncos game, this will be the matchup. Whether they're 10-7 and or 11-6, and this is going to be the game to watch, or this is going to be the matchup. And who you got? I'll ask it to you again. Chargers or Jags? Give me chaos. Give me the Jags, right? I, I think Trevor Lawrence and the Jags might surprise some people. Kind of like the Bengals did last year, where we all go, oh, that's right. Joe Burrow was the first overall pick. Maybe we go, oh, that's right. Trevor Lawrence was the first overall pick for a reason. Maybe it's the Jags' turn at home to win a playoff game. I'll take Jacksonville in a surprising upset. Despite them being home, 
I'm guessing the Chargers are going to be like four-point favorites in this game. Before we let you guys go and send you off to, to watch the rest of the slate, once again, the AFC playoff picture. Chiefs getting the bye, Bills, Dolphins, Bengals, Ravens, Jags, Chargers. We're in for a great NFL postseason. I appreciate all of you who clicked onto today's show and made us a part of your Sunday. If you're looking for more NFL coverage, I invite you to subscribe to Chat Sports.